and uh, any lags to cloud cloud watch so i already deployed open the machine i connected to here over here to ssh so in order to send the logs from uh, this ec2 machine from here to aid uh, to cloudwatch so we need to have a role so that role needs needs to have permission to push uh, to access a cloudwatch so i'm going to create a role here go to i'm console and roles create a role for the database service for ec2 then uh, click on next so look for uh, cloudwatch Just let me type cloud so i'm gonna give it not cloud front it's cloud watch so image cloud watch okay in this case i'm just gonna give it the full permissions you can granulize it if you want cloud watch then click on next then create a name uh ec2 cloud watch Okay, I'm fine with that. You could see your permissions here, CloudWatch. That looks great. Okay, click on create role. So once you create the role, just come back to your instance. Go to security, modify IAM role. For this, we can use access key secret key as well, but that's another secure way. So that's a CloudWatch. Let's attach this role. We are done with this part. Then we need to install uh, CloudWatch Locks agent on our machine. So I do have steps over here. So first we need to update it. Then we need to install CLI. We don't need the CLI if you we because we are using that uh, uh, roles. So let's see. So I'm gonna run apt update. Then we need to uh, get this file that's an agent file from over here okay we got that file over here we need to run that file let's see this python 3 doesn't support i believe okay we need to supply that region i'm gonna use us 2 okay then just install the python 2.7 okay oh, i'm sorry just need just get this 2.7 python 2.7 it's gonna install python 2.7 once you install it read on the command okay just use python 2.7 okay it's gonna download then we just need to follow the steps meanwhile i'm gonna open another terminal see to desktop then ssh i can the key username gonna give that public ip okay just be a sudo user i think i installed that nginx on over here okay that works so i'm going to uh, track this nginx logs to the cloud watch so we usually have that logs under slash war logs directory so you can see any of the logs so in this case you can track any of these files any fo files or folders so in this case i'm just going to track nginx logs so if i get into slash var slash lag nginx i can i could see access log and uh, error log so i'm trying to uh, log these access log files to cloudwatch so so here when i run this uh, this setup it is asking for AWS key, so I don't need to supply because I'm using a, a AWS IAM role, even secret key as well. So that's a reason that's fine. Yes, is type on two. Normal, it doesn't matter. Just give it to JSON. 
then uh, it says that configure uh, path of the log file to upload so i want to upload slash word slash log nginx access dot log just we need to give the right path and right file name so it seems destination log group name so if if logs comes over here what would be the folder name you want so in this case i want nginx you can give it anything access okay here it is checking whether you want to use instance id or you use host name custom name in this case I, i'm just going with uh, instance id if you want the custom name we can type 3 and give it a custom name let's try that otherwise type 3 enter log stream uh, my easy to we it's better to choose uh, one because it gives id so it's okay i just chose three it's fine my easy to the data the data and timestamp format so i'm okay with the first one default one that's fine enter from end to start of that that's fine i don't want to track any more logs it's been created you can check that file over here as well if you want uh cat so if you want to track other files you can create or just copy copying these files you can create that i'll show that as well so if i come back here if i refresh it now we got the access logs the log stream name my easy to be i've given that so you can you can check that if you want further you can you can send these logs to your uh, lambda function you can filter it them as well so this is the way you can track if you want another log uh, file with the with the other one for instance if you want to if you want to log this error error dot log if i check here i don't have anything it okay, i do have that so we can send these uh, logs too as well so for the what you can do we need to we can simply edit this file so what i can do just over here i'm gonna use vi press shift g it goes to the end of the end of this file so i'm gonna copy this copy this one and uh, just going to paste it then i'm gonna call it error lock Am I going to change the date format? The file, uh, we need to change the file path. That's a uh, error.log. And we need to give that log group name that sends to uh, AWS. So in this case, we got Nginx access. So I'm going to change, create a new one with the Nginx error. That's it. Save and exit. Once you do that, just we need to restart the service systems etl restart aws locks if i come back here and let me refresh that file again log groups that's an OI reason that looks fine now i can see that nginx error i can see the file content over here this is the content even you can check check it here cat slash one nginx error.log so i can see the same content over here so this is the way we can track any files from that ec2 uh, machine if you have a uh, unprivileged machine you can use that uh, secret key and access key instead of this role so this way we can track. Thank you for watching.